Hello, my name is Angela Kihenjo. I am a co-founder of Pets Paradise. My name is Rodney, Rodney Kihenjo. I'm husband to Angela and also a co-founder of Pets Paradise. We are a wellness center and what we want to focus is the dogs being happy. So for us, we say the tails are wagging and the pets are bragging. We do grooming. We also do dog play date. And then we also offer boarding services. The other thing we do is that we do pet relocation. We arrange all the documentation to make sure that wherever you go, your pet is with you rightfully and legally so. Uh, I began the grooming when I was still employed. Uh, and I started doing it over the weekends when I was free. So I did that for around, oh, I think five, six months um, over the weekends until now I officially transitioned um, uh, from full-time employment and went 100% into the grooming. Then is when I would start charging clients. So that's really where we began. So we've just marked five years on an official basis. Till now, people get surprised that we do it. Um, it was unknown. So we did a formal research. We found out that it's something that we could start. People would be interested. One is that there was a need for proper grooming. The other was an offshoot of that one, where when we started the parlor, it was really demand driven, mm. where we caught a lot of people asking us, you know, you guys, I'm traveling. Would you guys be yeah. able to house my pet for yeah. you? So that was more of demand driven. Yeah. At least we had the opportunity of testing um, whether the concept would work. The other service is the play group. Mm. Dogs are primarily um, pack animals. Mm. So once in a while, they need to interact with one another. They yes. need to meet their friends mm. and, and, you know, play together. burn off steam and burn energy. Steam. <laughs> or else they'll chew off yeah. all your shoes mm. in the house. Uh, we had many guys who wanted, uh, when you're going to the office, where do I drop off my dog mm. and pick my, my dog, dog from mm. um, in the afternoon? Mm. So guys, we just drop off the dogs from, say, eight and pick after five. So then that came the product of... Um, the, of, of the, the decade. Yeah. yeah, so the, the, the market segment we are serving is mostly middle class, middle and upper class. If you want to take care of your dog and take care of it well, it will cost you, mm -hmm. the, you know, you have to budget for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. When I went into BE, I thought we'd start with just the business. I just thought we'd go into marketing strategies, financial strategies, what are the forecasts, cash flow and everything. But by virtue of we started by describing ourselves, what are our passions, um, what are we good at, what are our strengths. For me, that was that was very critical. The aha moment that you know I've gone through in BE is really discovering myself and knowing how. Um, once I know who I am and how I'll impact even the people we lead, the team that we have. Um, it really starts with me being very clear with what I'm doing, knowing what I do, and you know how to run a kingdom business. So for me, that has really been important. Um, dogs are human companions, and just like your friend, you need to treat your friend right. So that once you get a pet, then we're able to take you through the process mm -hmm. end to end. Yeah. Um, from before getting the pet to mm -hmm. well having the pet to enjoying the lifespan of your pet. So mm -hmm. end to end, that's what we hope. We've even had friends of our own who would not even touch a pet and uh, just to see them going through the process of, you know, getting a dog and now, you know, every other week it's my dog hasn't done this or is it okay, you know, just actually seeing the change that a pet does to a family, you know, you find the kids becoming more responsible, taking care of, you know, they learn things about responsibility and just the closeness I feel that a pet does, I mean, brings to the home. One of our friends um, has an autistic child and the dog really, really bonds with the child and the dog understands that the child is different in a special way and the dog just plays with the child mm -hmm. endlessly and you should see the joy that the dog brings that child. Mm. It's like within that moment, nothing else matters to both of them. And it's, it's, it's blissful just watching that. And that's, that's what dogs 
um, are to human beings and that's the story we want to be part of uh, in human families. So when our customers come in, we do understand that dogs are family members mm. and that's how we want to treat them and that's the way we view them. Um, so the future of the business, um, we want to partner with um, other, uh, like one would be vets in the industry. We uh, would also want to start a, a grooming school where we would train um, professionals in the industry and also pet owners who would maybe want to know more about the grooming uh, maybe to a few things, how do I handle pet care, how do I handle a few tools here and there. We hope to expand and uh, you know one, that's one of the things that the school will help us do to be able to establish that. So we want to have more grooming parlors. Yeah and we also want to use technology to be able to monitor the wellness of your pet. Yeah. So your pet doesn't have to come here for us to just tell how well your pet is doing. So we use technology, we're able to monitor from wherever you are and prolong the next plan and the wellness of the pets. Mm.